All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is White Man's World. Uh, this is coming from the artist Tupac. Uh, lyrics are pulled up just in case we need them, guys. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what this takes us, guys. Why even know how hard it is? Being a woman, a black woman at that, in this white man's world. Sometimes we overlook the fact that we can ride hard now since we don't be knowing the pain we be caused. This white man's world, this white man's world. I ain't saying I'm innocent at all this. I'm just saying this white man's world. This song is for all those times that I mess up or we mess up. Dear sister, got me twisted up in prison, I miss you Crying, looking at my nieces and my nephew's picture They say don't let this cool world get you Kinda suspicious, swearing one day you might leave me For somebody that's richer Twist the cap off the bottom I take a sip and see tomorrow Gotta make it if I have to beg a bottle Beating love letters, late night Locked down and quiet Your brothers don't receive they mail Best believe we ride Eating Jack Mack Staring at the walls of silence Inside this cage where they captured all my rage and violence In time I learned a few lessons Never, never fall for riches Apologies to my true sisters Far from bitches Help me raise my black nation Reparations to do It's true Caught up in this world I took advantage of you So tell the babies how I love them Precious boys and girls Born black In this white man's world And all I love them Wow, bro. All right, listen, here's the thing. So um, I think probably the most poignant line of this uh, entire first verse is right here. Uh, inside this cage where they captured all my rage and violence, bro. Um, I understand you, bro. Listen, you could be mad at the world for basically anything. Name something, pick something, and you just be mad about it, bro. Listen, I understand the time that he's specifically coming up in um, was also extremely interesting. Um, if, if NWA had to come out with F the Police, and if you've seen that movie, bro, uh, and seen how things were during the Rodney King situations, if he was around in that time of that area, I can imagine, bro. I hear you. I see it. Okay? We all saw it, I think. Like the Watts riots and things like that, bro. We, all right. Okay. Now, um, it says, help me raise my black nation. Reparations are due. Um, the thing about that is uh, it's an interesting topic. It's an extremely you know, controversial one, right? Um, I think that if, um, oh, how do I say this nicely? <laughs> I don't know if you can, but I get canceled. Um, here's the thing. Um, reparations at one time would have absolutely been something that uh, that should have been done, specifically after the uh, the first, uh, let's say, air booming, right, uh, on uh, U.S. soil, referring to the, uh, the Tulsa uh, Black Wall Street riots, right? Uh, if you refer to that very specific time of reparations being needed to be due around that time, absolutely. All right. Yes, I'm aware what happened in the United States of America. I'm fully aware, right? But just keep this in mind. I think if things would have been done around that time, where people were still literally alive that had ties directly to that, referring to they can go speak to their their grandmother, their great grandmother, in a sense, a great grandfather, etc. Um, sure, are reparations due right now? Yeah, bro. Um, let's have this conversation. <laughs> Uh, do you see the economy? Do you see what the economy is right now, bro? See, do you see how inflation is right now? In order for reparations to actually happen, it would have to basically destroy the fabric of the United States of America. And not just the fabric, destroy it completely. Like the reason why inflation is the way it is is because we printed so much money. And we would have to now again print a gigantic amount of money making the money that you're getting worthless valueless <laughs> guys um if reparations was was to be done in a way of like you know paying zero taxes that could be a thing i'll take that <laughs> right but if it comes to like writing everyone big checks and we have to print money bro i like this country okay um if you want reparations and you're fighting for the concept of getting checks written to you you're wild okay if you think inflation's bad that nah, bro we printed more money than we ever had in the last like 15 years okay we've more money than the united states of america has ever had okay <laughs> total we've printed more than that in the last 15 years so now imagine what reparations would look like doing it again do you see that everything has basically gone up 40 50 percent in price bro stop playing all right Stop playing. But all right, let's get it. Shots to my homie's head, died in his best. Shot him to death and left him bleed. 
under the seat I pass his casket, gently ask him, is that heaven for G? My homeboy's doing life, his baby mama be stressing Shedding tears when her son finally asks that question Where my daddy at? Mama, why we live so poor? Why you crying? Heard you late night to my bedroom door Now do you love me, mama? Why they keep on calling me nigga? Get my weight up with my hate and pay him back when I'm bigger And still thugging in this jail cell, missing my block Hearing brothers screaming all night, wishing they stop Proud to be black, but why we act like we don't love ourselves? Don't look around, just suck, check yourselves Know what it means to be black, whether a man or girl We still struggling, and it's white man's world It's white man's world he says, proud to be black, but why we why we act like we hate, why we don't love ourselves. Bro, that's that's an interesting thing here, guys, right? I mean, I've been around the world, I've seen multiple different cultures, and it's not a black phenomenon. It is a black American phenomenon. Just be fully aware. I've encountered black people from the UK, and they don't have the same mentality, right? I've, I've encountered uh, West Africans in West Africa, East Africans in East Africa. And for some reason, it all comes back to this. What is so different uh, about the history of the people? All right. And so when it comes down to it, it I think in my head, it, it's probably it probably comes down to some type of like odd genetic memory that happens here. Right. If you think about uh, like breaking the buck or buck breaking Willie Lynch um, or the, the concept of mother effer. Right. Um, from Willie Lynch's island. Right. Just understand these things so you kind of understand why or how about this or even mandingo fights okay <laughs> where you have to understand that you weren't allowed to right like loving yourself would, would give yourself power you could you would then get with the other guy and then now you have two instead of one the separation of the person in the house versus the person in the field right you, you you can't create that union, right? It also goes back to uh, uh, Sir Francis Bacon's rebellion, right? It goes back to the concept of not allowing um, people that are being currently disenfranchised to link up in one singular group. No, 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 right? Dude, that can't happen. So you have to have some type of separation. And that's how the mind, in a sense, was, uh, uh, was used against the majority of these extremely strong uh, West African um, slaves. That's how it was used to separate them, separate everything, right? You don't like that person. Come on. You belong in a house. You belong in a field type of thing, guys. Come on. It's, it's pretty much obvious nowadays, at least. I think you could pretty much put that, put that together, right? You're proud to be black, but why don't we act like we love ourselves? Because you're not supposed to. Right. I mean, not saying that it's the same situation now or today. It's not right. But this goes back to when I said genetic memory or the concept of a, of a genetic memory, right? Think about it. All right, let's get it. Fight, brother, fight, brother, fight, brother, fight, brother, fight, brother, fight, Direction and I'm thinking my time away just made perfection. I think I die. Not, not gonna fly. Why should I care? Like we holding on the lost love that's no longer there. Can you please help me? God bless me, please keep my seeds healthy. Make it all my enemies bleed while my G's wealthy. Hoping they bury me with ammunition, weed and shells. Just in case they trip in heaven. Ain't no G's in hell. Sister, sorry for the pain that I caused your heart. I know I'll change if you help me, but don't fall apart. Kato. Um, I have no idea who Kato is, but I've heard, I hear of Kato being referenced in a lot of things, right? Um, I think DMX also made a song referencing, uh, I think it was called Ayo Kato, if I recall at least. Ayo Kato. That's uh, Ayo Mato. That's not that, bro. Kato. Yeah, by DMX. Yeah, Ayo Kato. So I'm like, hold on, bro. Is this the same Kato? Is it? I wonder. I wonder. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, Is that Kato? Kato. Rest in peace, baby. Rest in peace, Kato. Is this Kato? I wonder. 
Guys, let me know in the comments. Help me out. Uh, the name of the song is uh, Ayo Kato by DMX, if you want to actually understand my reference, at least. But all right, let's get it. Oh, rest in peace to the Natasha. Lil Yummy and Kato. Too much for this cold world to take. Ended up being fatal. Every woman in America, especially black. Bear with me. Can't you see that we under attack? I never meant to call drama to my sister and mama. Hope we make it to better, better times. times. And this is right man's world. Ooh, no. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You you don't like each other. Referring to like a lot of like overwhelming black Americans. It's overwhelming. Um, you don't like each other, so you d delete each other more than any other you know, way to delete each other. Right? So you have um, <sighs> the highest levels of abortions coming from women. Um, then you have men in highly ghettoized areas deleting each other because you're jealous of what someone else has. Uh, most likely they got out, they came back accidentally, and then you deleted him for it. Um, uh, that happens to a lot of rappers, for example, right? So it's a, <laughs> bro, it's, it's a plague, okay? It's absolutely a plague. For some reason, the biggest enemy of black Americans is in fact black Americans. That's the biggest enemy. Right? It's not it's not the white man's world. It's just black Americans. 100%. The worst enemy of black Americans are black Americans. How do we have this conversation? Is it time? I don't know. Right? I know a lot of people are not going to like that, like what I just said there, bro. But it's the factual statement. How can we um, understand that? Because we need to. Right? I mean, listen, it took me, honestly... It took me getting out of the United States of America for a very long time to fully see America for America, right? And black America for black America also. Keep this in mind. It took me, I was just like, bro, we doing all of that, bro. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> Why? Bro, just live your life, right? Live your life, please. Telling you better watch it. Or be a victim. Watch it or be a victim. Bro, he's even telling you this. So don't 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 come at me as 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 someone who is reading it, right? <laughs> and listening to it. He's saying it. Yell at Tupac. Well, me, uh, the seal and the constitution reflect the thinking of the founding fathers that this was to be a nation by white people and for white people. Native Americans, blacks, and all other non-white people were to be the burden bearers for the real citizens of this nation. Yeah, that, that is a hundred percent Farrakhan. All right. Ooh, guys, this is a good one. I mean, listen, I love any type of uh, music that we can have conversations around. I do, I do think that uh, a gigantic portion of this very specific song, uh, we can have multiple conversations where I'm tired of it. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys? I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of reading the news or seeing the news and just seeing all this craziness that happens, bro. Have you seen Atlanta recently, bro? Oh, <laughs> God, guys. Please, please. That guy over there who looks like you is not your enemy because he has more than you. It's fine. Let him live his life. That's it. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.